Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, a bit of a mishmash of a video today and a few bits and pieces to show you. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on. Um, I'll show you those two in a moment, they're from Amazon. Uh, this one has come to me from Tube Buddy. Uh, yeah, they, um, they do sort of like little giveaways and things and send out little prizes and things and I got a high five from Tube Buddy which is like a little um, channel in itself on uh, YouTube uh, and it says congratulations you managed to get your hands on some of this summer's limited edition YouTube merch um, a little thank you from your friends at YouTube for sharing your creativity with the world uh, we'd love to see you enjoying your swag create a short and tag us so yeah um, I have got a photograph of hubby wearing it but this <laughs> It's one of those little bucky hat, bucket hats or beanie hats. That is very nice quality, really, really well finished off and sewn. And it's got the little YouTube logo on the front there. Look, holographic sticker stuck on the front. But it is huge. This hat will literally fit just about everybody, I think. Um, Hubby put it on and it went straight down over his head and landed on his nose. So he actually looked like a little gonk because you couldn't see his eyes. <laughs> But yay, thank you, chub buddy. I'm very, very nice to just get a, a little thank you and a little appreciation. So that was a surprise that came through the post. Wasn't expecting it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's even got the little air holes look on both sides. Really, really nice hat. And with it being a grey colour as well, it's fairly neutral, isn't it? So, so that was set my little surprise. I thought you might like to see that. Just a bit of fun. And then I've got two little packages, as I say. Now, I'm on the hunt for an advent calendar for this year. Um, I know Rebecca Admore Zest is doing her advent calendars, but I've decided it's not for me this year. Um, so I'm on the hunt to sort of like maybe make up my own. I do like getting the surprises. Last year I did a, a children's crafty type one where each day you opened up a little box and it had like a little craft makeup and I did that. Um, over the 24 days in December. I may do that again if there's another one that comes out. Um, I loved my cat-eared one that I got and I have actually still got the box for that that I did Christmas before last. Uh, so I may put my own little presents into it and just open it and do that little project each day. This is sold actually as an advent calendar um i was expecting it to be in a bigger box i know it's not an actual 24 day advent calendar because it's only got what three six nine twelve fifteen little projects in it um but i did think well i have got a lot of key rings so maybe i could put a key ring in each of the 24 boxes um and, a, and do a key ring each day that might be quite nice because i've got a lot of key rings um and i saw this and it, it does get advertised as um, an advent calendar but uh, yeah I think we're just basically um, 15 key rings but they do look quite nice and um, we've got our little lobster claw clasps and chain that's a very very bright gold colour goodness me that is really bright one two three four five that's not very good is it oh that's naughty so you get five of those and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of the plastic ones with the little jump rings oh that's naughty okay i'm just trying to think what i paid for this i'll put it on the screen i know it wasn't that much money uh but yeah so you've got five posh ones and ten plastic ones hmm okay I'm sure it probably did tell you all this on the description but you know what I'm like I don't read descriptions very well <laughs> and I don't particularly like those I suppose what I could do is put the lobster claw clasp on one and the chain on another I mean I might even use these as Christmas tree decorations yeah I don't know uh, we've got our pen boat and wax we've got our little instruction sheet as well so I suppose if you were buying it as a little present for somebody it's pretty good make your own gem key rings it says gem 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 diy bling bling Ooh, so it's a nice little box i must admit you know, i'm quite impressed with the box not impressed with putting the stickers on the box from amazon but never mind so let's just have a quick look at the key tunes. i bet you're all saying oh, Liz, not more key tunes. 
but at least they're not the same sort that I've had in the past. <laughs> and these are only single-sided as well. So if you're wanting to do them as an add-on from an advent calendar each day, then they are only quite small. Yeah, they're only single-sided. So we've got our candles. We've got a mitten. We have a stocking. Why have I got them all upside down? We've got a surfing Santa, yay, or a skiing Santa. No, he's on this, um, a snowboard, isn't he? Snowboarding Santa. Uh, oh, that's a jolly one. I like that one. And some bells. And a little wreath. Oops, it's a wheel, please. <laughs> and, oh, look, that snowman's gone to sleep. Oh, no, he's singing. He's got a microphone. <laughs> he's singing. <laughs> That is really, really funny. I thought he was asleep because he's got his eyes closed. But he's serenading and looking to his microphone, crooning away there. Oh, that's fabulous. Uh, we have a little reindeer. They are very nice, these. A, a little present. Who is this then? Oh, what's he holding? That's a very cool dude dog with his glasses on. I'm not quite sure what that is. Is it a wreath? Or is it maybe it's a record that his friend's singing along to? Or maybe it's the speaker? Or has he got a symbol or something? Maybe we've got a band. <laughs> and we've got a Christmas bauble. And a Christmas tree. And, oh, another dog look. That's a bit Scooby-Doo type dog, isn't it? That's a Great Dane. Uh, sticking his head through a wreath there with his uh, cool dude glasses on. Oh, these are quite fun, aren't they? These are quite... Oh, look, and Santa's singing as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay, then. So let's just have a look at this. So we've got a tree. Uh, he could be singing, I suppose, on the wall. Uh, he could be playing the drum, I suppose. Um, yeah, we've got two singing. So is anybody else singing? No, so we've just... <laughs> We've got the three in the little band. Oh, they're fabulous. Oh, I do like that. I must admit, um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with the plastic ha uh, hangers. I suppose maybe it's aimed at children, maybe, with having the plastic hangers rather than the lobster claw clasps. But I do like our little band. He's got his earmuffs on as well, or he's got his headphones in and he's singing away, but that is just fabulous. I have never, ever seen a singing snowman like that. That's brilliant. Love it. I like that one as well. Oh, dear. Oh, look, the wreath's got a little Rudolph on it as well. <laughs> Excellent. And it looks like we are crystals as well. So, yeah, these would be quite nice to do, I think, uh, in an advent calendar. So then I would just need to find another nine things to put in. Um, so that I've just got one little project to do each day. I have actually got a really big advent calendar that I made. It's all felt and it's got 24 pockets. So I could possibly put one in each pocket and just do it each day. Mm. Okay, so let's... Oh, we've got specials. We've got bigger gems as well in this. Let's have a look then. So we've got a larger round green and a standard bronzy colour. Standard peach, a standard orange, Standard pale blue, standard brownie colour, standard peach colour, standard uh, pale gold, and that one's like a purpley colour. And we've got a hot pink. Yes, I'm calling hot pink. <laughs> and then the more basic Christmassy colours. So we have, oh, she starts off with a blue. <laughs> a Christmas green, a gold. A large round pearl and a small white pearl. So there's no facets on those and there's no iridescent coating or anything on them. They are just plain white. So I'll have to remember not to put those in my white jar because they are actually a pearl. And then a larger black and, ooh, what's that? Oh, it's black. I was just thinking it was like a blood red, but actually no, um, it's just got an escape in it. And then we've got a larger red and then your standard red. Uh, yeah, lots of gems. What have we got then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nineteen different gems and colours. So that's pretty good going. Um, I would maybe have to kit it up. 
Yeah, because we've got letters and numbers, so I'll maybe uh, just kit it up into uh, 19 different little pots so that I can do one each day and then I've got the kit to do it with. Maybe do it that way. Okay, so it's just an idea. Um, if I do do the advent calendar, I will show you how I've done it. Right, so let's just put you chaps to one side for now with your little bits and pieces. And we'll have a look at this one. Oh, and I bet you can't guess what this one is. <laughs> oh, I just had to get it. It's another Vipon purchase. That's a V-I-P-O-N. Not affiliated, not associated. Don't get anything. They don't know I exist. But it is like an app that gives you cheaper prices and shows you cheaper prices on Amazon. And I do like to show you what I get from it. And I do get a lot from it, I have to say. I try not looking. Um, but this is another set of coasters. But these are very, very different ones. And I got them half price again. And I'm now thinking about presents for people and specific people. Um, so, And these are a little bit bigger, I think, as well. So we've got our standard pen, butt and wax. Okay. They are all a crystals. And this is, um, does that look bigger or is it just me? Maybe they're not bigger. We've got our standard little metal stand to put them in. But these are all fruits. And I just thought, oh, these are fabulous. So we've got an orange. We've got a lime. We've got, what would that be, do you think? Maybe, I don't know, a melon or a kiwi fruit or something. Hmm, don't know. Jury's out on that one. I'll have a think about that one. We've got a grapefruit. Now that's a watermelon, okay. We've got um, a red grapefruit, okay. Or it could be a blood orange, not quite sure which, not quite sure. Let me know in the comments what you think that one is. Just trying to think what has little black bits in it that's white inside. Oh, maybe a banana? No. Yeah, bananas do have, but they tend to be down the middle, don't they? Uh, that's a that's a kiwi fruit and then oh so what's that one then okay so i've got six that i know what they are and two that i'm not quite sure because that's it's just with it being maybe it, maybe that's the blood orange but then that's an orange isn't it and they're the grapefruits and that's a lime oh unless that's a lemon and that's a lime and that's an orange Ooh, don't know now. Let me know what you think. But I just thought they're nice and they're a good sturdy set. Uh, they are the wooden ones, so I would put a sealer on front and back on these so that they're fully waterproof. There's my date measure. Let me give them a quick measure and see if they are the standard size. Yeah, four inches, ten centimetres. Maybe it's because they're a full round that I'm thinking that they're um, bigger than normal. But yeah, I just thought, you know, for somebody that's not really into anything cute or quirky or artwork or anything, these are just like foodie, aren't they? Um, and I say a nice coaster set. So these will get done for Christmas as a present. Okay, let's have a look at these flowers. Right, so we have oh, nice bright silver there and red and pink not quite a hot pink but pink and amber color and gold and a pale gold and a lime green and a pinky red and another darker green and a little bit of like a gray blue color and a little bit of black and then green are they both the same no they are two different lime greens so we're going to get quite a bit of shading and then two palish pinks and another green a nice colour palette no hot pink but that's okay you can manage with that right so that is the eight because i think they were about four pound fifty for the eight i know they were a half price and they were really good i'll put it across the screen as i say um i've forgotten to bring my piece of paper in with my uh, prices and everything on oh i never said i was a professional youtuber <laughs> And again, your nice little stand. I'm not going to go into great depth on these because 
I've shown key rings and uh, coasters so many times. And if you look in my playlists for Amazon, you will see a lot of them. I have got a lot, but I will get them done. I, uh, yeah, I am going to get them done. Right, and then another little package that I got are these Silhouette Pick Me Up pens. And they're actually made um, for the Silhouette die cutting machine. And they're made to pick up, you know, when you've got, um, like, anybody's got a die cutting machine, where you get little bits of paper that are landlocked and you need to pick them out. Um, they're actually made for that. Right, let me open this up and show you it. But they're also excellent for diamond painting. So I thought I would give you um, a little show on one of them. There's something that I've, I've used lots of different pens and everything. But these are the ones that I come back to all the time. And I have had people asking me what I use, what wax I use and what... Uh, what I use in my pens and everything. Um, I do like glue dots, but you do have to make sure that they're not overly sticky, otherwise they can take the coating off an AB gem, um, or they don't let go. Once they've got hold of your gem, they don't want to let go of it. Uh, so you have to like prime it as it were, um, stick it on your clothes or something a couple of times, or just on, um, you know, if you've got a, a wipe clean desk or whatever, just so that they're not overly sticky. Um, and then, you know that's how you can use glue dots there are quite a few videos on youtube on using glue dots in uh, diamond painting pens but as i say this is my go-to one uh, it does have your little uh, tool at the end your little plastic tool so you've got like a very you've got a very fine tip at that end and like a chisel tip at that end as i say they're made really for getting um for getting your die cuts uh, off the carrier sheets when you're using one of those cutting machines, electronic cutting machines, uh, and that's what they're for. But these are still quite handy for diamond painting as well, you know, if you've put your gem in the wrong place, uh, whatever. And I don't actually use the pen with this in the end because, as I say, if uh, you've watched my videos before, I actually use a magnifying light and I have it quite close to my canvas and sometimes it hit, my pen hits the canvas so if I use a standard pen it's that bit longer you're <laughs> doing the fishing thing I the fish I caught was this big <laughs> the pens that are a bit longer and um, tend to hit my lamp whereas this makes it a little bit shorter not having that end on so I do tend to use it without the end on and I would say just don't use the uh, if you do use it with the end on, always put the pointy end back into the pen. Uh, I've learned that from mistake as well, picking them up and stabbing myself. That's still a little bit sharpish, but nowhere near as sharp as the point. And then this is your pen. And you've got, I would always suggest putting your lid back on because it keeps, it's like blue tack that's basically in the end here. Um, and it just keeps it from drying out and stops dust or whatever getting on it. And you literally just turn that screw slightly and then you glue and then your blue tack comes up to the end. As that stops being tacky, then you can either just use your little pokey tool um, or your tweezers if you've got some fine tweezers and just whittle the wax around a bit because you're particularly using crystals and things and some gems that you get, they're very dusty and that dust coats then your wax or in this case, your blue tack, and it stops it from being tacky and stops you from picking up your gems. And then if you find that it's just gone dry or whatever, you can just turn it and just pull the end off. And then you've got a continuous supply of blue tack um, coming through the pen. Sorry, I'm, I need to put my hand underneath, don't I, so you can see it properly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And so, as I say, these are what I use. Um, there are videos on refilling these as well. So you don't need to keep buying them. You can refill them. I always keep an eye out for them. Um, I'm down to my last one. I've just started my last one. Hence, I've ordered another two. And I think these were 8 99 each from Amazon. I'm on Amazon Prime as well, so I didn't pay any postage. By the time I've bought wax, and I do like to use a bit thicker pen, um, then these just work out really well for me. You don't have to keep filling up your pen because the jet, the wax, the blue tack is already in there. I'm not 100% sure that it is blue tack, but it does look like blue tack. 
it's like a grey uh, material. Uh, the only thing is just turn it exceptionally slightly. You're not screwing it round as though you screw, put in a screw into something. You are just literally turning it millimetres because once that uh, starts coming out, it comes out a lot. And if you get too much coming out, then you, unfortunately you do need to take it off because it's very easy if it starts coming around the edges that if you're using a canvas, you'll end up with it sticking onto your canvas. And like the wax, you don't want blue tack sticking on your canvas because it does take quite a bit of getting off. So yeah, but say I've been using one of these now for about two years and it is the one that I keep going back to. I try others uh, and when I'm doing my special drills, I do use um, pick up pencils and pretty places and things. But uh, for my actual diamond painting, I find that this is a lot easier and I can diamond paint for a continuous amount of time, um, you know, without having to jiggle the uh, blue tack around or having to turn it slightly again. So, yeah, I mean, if you've got any questions on these, let me know. But that is what I use mainly at the moment. I am going to try and do some... Um, whip and chats and actually do some diamond painting and you will see me using one of these i did a um one of the question ones oh ages ago and i did use my pen so you will see me using it but that is quite a long time that's probably about two years ago as well that i did that gosh time flies so yeah i thought you might just like to see that so they came today to say that they're usually around about 11 pounds but i got them for 8.99 so I thought while they were on at that price, I got myself two. So I'm stocked up now. So I'm just trying to think how long they last. Um, I would think at least six months I use one. Maybe even longer. Hmm. Uh, right, when I start my next new one, I will time it. And I'll write down how many canvases and how many things I actually do with it. And then you'll get to see that. So that'll be better. Okay. I like to try and be as accurate as possible when I'm showing you things. Right, and then finally, I you remember, um, with my last Craft Buddy haul that I got, I did get these little stickers, uh, and I just thought you might like to just have a quick look at the little sticker kits. These are £2.50 on the Craft Buddy website. And this is the little tiger one. Uh, <laughs> come with the tiniest little square of wax you've ever seen uh pen and boat you pen with your three placer branded with your crystal art on it you get your little square sticker and is it transparent or not let me have a look i don't know whether these are transparent or whether they're all white i think they're all white just let me uh, try and get the back off there let me get my tweezers and try and get the back off this. Ah, no, it is transparent. So they are... Well, that's not good. I don't like that. Oh, unless that comes off. Oh, it comes off. Sorry. Right. So, oh, that's sticky. Okay, ah, right, ah, right, I get it, I get it, I get it. This is me not re uh, doing it properly. Right, so, let me just put this back correctly. Oh, have I done that the wrong way around now? Oh, yes, I have. Right, I'm going to take this off because I've uh, <laughs> not done it right. But yeah, so I was just thinking, I don't want a sticker that's got Craft Buddy Crystal Art on it, sticking on it there, look, in the corner. But yeah, no, that's fine. So I've taken that off. So then the sticker now will be easier to uh, take off the carrier sheet. And uh, so once I've diamond painted it, then yeah, it is a clear, crisp, uh, clear sticker look. And you see that white edge that you see when it's on the carrier sheet is actually clear. So that's really good. Okay, I think for two forty nine, then not a bad price. Um, I suppose it's cheaper than a cup of coffee, and uh, if you take the kids out for some sweets and a can of uh, pop or something, yeah. So that is the little tiger. So I'll throw that away. 
and then if you wanted actually to stick it somewhere and then change your mind you can always put it back on the little carrier sheet if you want to and then just the little now these are resin drills because uh, craft buddy crystal art are all resin drills that's your six different colors there so a little bit of uh, color shading and everything there on your little tiger okay so that's him there's that in there Ooh, didn't want to come off and then the german shepherd dog i wish they'd do a scotty i'd love a scotty okay that pen about the tiniest piece of wax that's just really 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 funny and again it's uh, got your cover sheet on and then your sticker is transparent. I don't know why I didn't try doing that in the first place rather than taking the whole thing off, but anyway. And I'm either going to do these and give them to my great niece and great nephew, or I'm going to give them them to do, um, because they're a little bit older now and they'll probably do them. Uh, but uh, yeah, they have a German Shepherd dog, so they'll probably find that quite funny and like that one. And then, the, oh, we've got a special look. We've got a gold special. Oh, that'll be for, his uh, little chain on his neck, his little uh, penny, we used to call them, but it's the name tag, isn't it? So it's four different colours and then that gorgeous uh, little semi-sphere in gold there. Okay, so, yeah, I said, I remembered to actually show you those. Yay! <laughs> right, so that is all my extra little purchases that I got. Okay, so just a mixture of bits and pieces, uh, my lovely hat from Chopardy and my key rings and my coasters from Amazon, uh, my little stickers from Craft Buddy and then my silhouette pickup pens from Amazon as well. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below, let me know what you think that uh, piece of fruit sliced is not quite sure i'm looking on the back thinking what is it on the back it's wooden lizzie you won't be able to see it <laughs> uh, if you want to come back and join our little family and see what we get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now